um, you know what, right? A few of my earlier videos have been talking about spiders, haven't I? Hmm. I've got this great, big, massive, gigantic, enormous one on my hand. It's in my hand. Honestly. Captured it from the bathroom. It gone here, wall from next doors, apparently. So, well, there's a reward for it. It's like blue. It's like got tinges of blue and all that in it. Must be one of them new tropical fucking spiders or something. Well, if you don't believe us, there it is. Big bugger, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> have heads. What I want to talk about tonight is... God almighty, where's the time gone? It's ten to eight already. Is this film? Wolf Creek, right? I have seen it loads of times. Um, <clears throat> I just watched it again. Way, a few minutes ago, you know what I mean? Really, really creepy film, that. Really, really, well, still scares the hell out of me. And it's the atmosphere and everything. I mean, the opening credits, God, the last for like oh, over seven minutes. God, I remember like, um, they don't start until about four minutes into it anyway. And like, it's good. Loosely based on a true story, based on true events, but very loosely based on that Australian, well, the Sydney back, backpack killer, you know, the serial killer. Locked up for life. But it's not really. Some discrepancies and all that. Good camera work. Good eerie music. Good acting. Nothing like rhyme water from the top end. Because Mick, the fucking killer in it, I'm sure he used to be in the Sullivans or something. <laughs> I remember that. Friggin' hell, man. But it's good. Um, based on Trillinch True Events, Wolf Creek is guaranteed to have you on the edge of your seat. I mean, it's an Australian film, obviously. Um, Australia, you know, they've made some bloody good films. I'd say that... They've made more good films than bad ones. Australia. Because I seen one the other week. Me and my girlfriend. Jambuglas. We watched um, Long Weekend. And that was about like um, a couple going camping. I don't know where they live. Bloody hell. It must be... Could be Queensland. I think it's Queensland actually, and they go camping by the seaside and all that. And nature just destroys the two of them because they're not getting on anyway. You know, and apparently they've remade that because it was a 1977 film. Yeah, I think they've remade it. And the female star in that, she played a couple of parts in Prisoner Cell Got H. I remember her now in that. Oh, tangents. Tangents. Mm, the best of 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 the of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Very, very similar. Atmospherically wise, you know, because that was very creepy and not much gore in it, really. There's a bit more gore in this than that, but it's few and far between. But as I say, holes in plot. But as far as an Australian film, wait, I like Australian films. 
I think they make some bloody good films, Australians. Um, oh, what was it? The Money Movers? That was a great film. Do you remember that film Brian Brown was in? From 1980. Stir. True story, that, when he was in prison and that. That was bloody good and all. Must have been the only... Must have been the only film I've seen with... Well, the word cunt was used in it more than in any film I've ever seen in my life. It was like every... In every sentence it's... You can't, you can't, that bloody can't. Honestly? Oh, the Australians are swear for the best of them. <laughs> Worse than us, sometimes. But anyway... My, let's see how crap the synopsis is, right? Whoever wrote it. One of the scariest films in years. Wolf Creek is an unforgettable, shocking and completely visceral experience from first-time director Greg McLean. So, it's his debut, obviously. Three backpackers head into the beautiful and isolated Australian outback in a dilapidated car. After several days of driving, they finally arrive at their destination, Wolf Creek National Park, a mysterious area where a meteorite landed. After exploring the terrain, they discover that their watches don't work and their car won't start. As panic sets in and the trio prepare to spend the night in the middle of nowhere, they notice the headlights of a car emerging from the darkness. So begins a group's encounter with one of the most terrifying madmen in the history of film. <laughs> he is scary, mind. I must admit that. He's a bloody creepy bloke. What makes him even more creepy and scary is the fact that he's dead friendly and... Oh, he'll help you out and... You don't look at him and think, oh, God. You look at him and, and you want to run to him because he's like, oh, oh. My dad used to be like that. That's what's dead scary about him. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Wolf Creek. Where for peep? Without a doubt. So I'll highly recommend that to you. Goodbye, Hammerheads.